So ain't he want to give a public service announcement to a lot of the men about these women that are cheating and that their cheating has been on the rise? Let's review. Men pay attention. 55% of children are born in too many homes that do not belong to the man who walks around parading themselves as their biological father. Also, in a lot of states, when you are married and have a child with your wife, a lot of the states presume the child to be yours unless you request a DNA test prior to signing that birth certificate. See, I personally believe husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, that DNA tests need to be uh, done uh, prior to the father doing the birth certificate. Like, you know, Hey, he go up there, he take DNA because also it eliminates situations in the courts, right? Let's say this dude wants to play a game. He knows his kid, but he wants to play a game and, and extend his time not paying child support. So he'll say, Oh, I want a DNA test. So then that's going to take a little bit more time and drag some things out because he want a DNA test. If you get a DNA test right then and there, then it establishes paternity or it doesn't establish the paternity. And you find out if that child is yours or not. And no man is up here taking care of a child five, 10, 15 years and find out later that child is not even his. Remember we covered a video here on this channel where a brother who was married found out that his wife, the children that he raised and loved wasn't even his children it was for two or three different men that out there. That's why I believe that DNA testing should be done in every hospital all over the United States of America should be a law. But let's continue. Extramarital affairs are part of today's women. It's on the rise. Would you believe if I told you that 83.5% of married women right now cheat? Oh yes, they cheat. They even go as far as getting pregnant sometimes for their lousy lovers. And they put the child on their husband. Yeah, that, that number is quite staggering. I, I mean, just me personally, I don't really, I personally don't believe that the majority of women, almost 80% is out here cheating on their husbands because let's call it what it is. A lot of them not getting married today. Now, maybe, you know, she has an accent. Maybe where she come from, I don't know. But well, I will say this, you know, a lot of men have seen this. And one thing about cheating on a man it, it has a lot of, 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 of deep consequences. Like because men don't get in the realm of emotion, when we are in that realm of emotion, remember we're men. So you can really tap into the aggression at that time too, because this man is overly emotional about what happened to him. This man loves this woman. He's doing everything he can for this woman, everything he can for these kids. He knows he's not out there doing nothing foul. He's not cheating. He's not doing any of that. And then his wife go out, and not only cheat on him, but get pregnant at the same time and then try to bring that kid in the house. And then he finds out later, or like I say, it's all kind of ways people find out. People find out sometime where, you know, a person knew what they were doing and, and they, and they got jazzed in the mouth with them. And say, oh, okay. So, uh, so you talking smart. Okay. I'm about to blow your spot up. And then all of a sudden, then, then a phone call happens to the husband or some social media uh, messages or, or something. Cause you know, they, these people that do that dirt, Somebody always gonna find out, you know, all the person they fooling with want the person to know or whatever, uh, because you know it's a lot of things that go down, you know, with that, right? But when men hear about w the wives cheating on the husband, the first thing a lot of men say, "See, that's why I don't want to get married." Cause see, I can deal with that, bro. I can deal with it. No, 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 no. Because men feel more humiliated, I think, than women do, because you have to understand. In our minds as men, ladies, you willingly laid down and submitted yourself to another man. Willingly. Most men, we can't fool with you after that because you are tainted. You're no good to us as men to say, oh, well, and then women will say, well, what's the difference with men? You know, men, if, if, a woman, if a man does that to us, we feel the same way. Yeah, you feel humiliated and everything. You're hundred percent right. But the reason sometimes women can maybe move past it to a point, some of them can, is that men are dominating women. It's not, he's submitting to a woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, men think a lot different when it comes to another man. I'm telling you, we, we just, we, we, 
a lot of now, of course, you got some out there who are simps and say, oh, I can let it go. But we have seen that if a, if you let it go, she's going to do it again because a man has to say, listen, he has to be extremely territorial about his woman. And if his woman willingly went out and did something like that, then then no, she she's not your woman no more. She chose not to be your woman at that point because of her actions. So that's why a lot of men just can't can't take that. Because women say we forgive men of that all the time. You do. But men are not hardwired to know that another man laid up laid up with you, another man released himself in you and on you and everything else. And that's the only thing that's gonna be in his mind is that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, men aren't hardwired to deal with that. So, um, yeah, just, I will say this much. If you're a person that think you're not capable of being monogamous in a relationship, then just, just don't do it. Just don't do it. And, and you save yourself a lot of drama and, and trouble, you know, just, just period. 